I love that he is a dog. Actually, no. Suddenly I have a fear that the dog's gonna die at some point. Is the dog gonna die? Is the dog safe in this movie? Or is this gonna be one of those cases of no? Oh. They're like edging me with that fucking flashback. Just give it to me already. <laughs> I wanna know. What's he doing out at night? Oh, maybe he, maybe he doesn't want to live anymore. Okay, work. Work. Hi, everybody. It's your girl, Tofu. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. <laughs> we're going to be taking a look at I Am Legend um, from 2007, and it has Will Smith in it. And I, I cannot even begin to tell you what has come over me, what has made me do this, except for recent events involving Will Smith. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, like, wouldn't it be fun if I watched one of his movies? <laughs> like, wouldn't that be fun, quirky, and cute of me? <laughs> um, so yeah, today we're gonna be watching a Will Smith movie, and I, I don't really know what to expect, but this is this has come recommended by you guys, and I, I thought I'd take a little look at it. Yeah? Let's get into it. <laughs> But before we do, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh, for letting me live out what I call my Arthur Morgan Housewife Cottagecore dream. I chose some delicious and tasty meals that could rival even Pearson's cooking, and I dressed up in my little Arthur Morgan Housewife outfit, and I set to work. Oh, so right here you get to see me play with the ice that came in the HelloFresh box, because I was like actually really surprised that the ice hadn't melted, because I accidentally left the HelloFresh box like outside my door for like two days after it had arrived, because I don't leave my house. But isn't that great to know? Isn't that great to know that like even if you're like me and you forget to get your HelloFresh box outside your house, your ingredients still stay fresh because of how well packaged everything is. Isn't that amazing for us forgetful girlies out there? So unless you've been living under a rock or been captured by O'Driscoll's, you're familiar with HelloFresh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a food kit service that is affordable, convenient, tasty, and organized. Um, traditional meal prepping, shopping, cooking is actually so overwhelming for me, but uh, HelloFresh makes eating super manageable because their kits include everything you need to make a meal. All you have to do is pick out your meals and wait for the fresh pre-portioned ingredients to get to you. Um, HelloFresh's meals are also pretty quick to whip up, usually about 30 minutes or less, which is especially great for streaming days, which is when I did make this meal in this video. And thanks to HelloFresh, I'm able to rage quit an Apex on a full stomach instead of rage quitting an Apex on an empty one. Yay! Let's go! GG's. You guys can use my link or go to hellofresh.com and use code POGTOFU July 16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. I love gifts, so definitely check them out, y'all. And thanks again, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's video. I'm sure the characters in I Am Legend would be super stoked to know that the person reacting to their zombie apocalypse movie where there's a lack of resources is sponsored by a brand that is feeding them. You love to see it. Speaking of which, I hope you guys enjoyed my movie commentary on I Am Legend. Bye! The world of medicine has seen its share of miracle cures, but all past achievements may pale in comparison to the work of Dr. Alice Crippen. Thank you so much for joining us. Is that us. Emma Thompson? We're talking about a virus. Indeed. Oh, yes, no. Case, the measles. Not a virus. virus how many people have you treated? Well, we've had 10,009 clinical trials in humans so far. That's a lot and of people. how many are cancer-free? 10,009. Those results? So Hello? Cured Impressive. I like this alternate universe. Cured cancer. Well, actually, maybe not so much. Not, not, not so much now that the ominous music seems to be playing things to the subtitles. Three years later. Okay, so clearly something went wrong at some point here. <laughs> something did not go according to plan. <laughs> oh lordy. It's giving... It's giving Last of Us. It's giving Last of Us 1, specifically. There's our boy! There's Will Smith! Doggo! Aww. Quite a bit of contrast between that nice, you know, shiny sports car and then its surroundings. <laughs> Brilliant contrast, even. God still loves us. Do we still love God? <laughs> what you say? What you say? Scared me. Why are we driving so furiously? <laughs> There's nothing even chasing us. 
that we can see. Maybe there's something invisible that's chasing us. I don't know. I don't know how grounded in reality this movie is supposed to be. You know, because personally, I haven't really experienced this sort of thing, you know? You feel me? What are we even aiming at? Do we think we really could have taken a shot like that, too? <laughs> the gun just, like, out a window? It certainly seems like wildlife might be thriving. Maybe we just wanted to race them. Like, maybe we were just in a silly, goofy mood and wanted to race the deer. <laughs> I don't really have an explanation for that. Maybe we'll get one. Maybe we won't. Not wicked being on a billboard. That was from a while ago. Are we just, like, hunting for food? Is that what's going on? <laughs> Doggo is so cute. The set looks really cool. Like, how did they build this set? I actually really want to know some of the behind the scenes, like... Because it looks huge, you know? And it looks like it's a actual set and not, like, just CG. I'm confused why we're tracking, like, a specific deer. When there were so many deer we could have shot at, like, any time during that car chase. Like, they were everywhere in front of us. <gasps> what? Is it just like a mountain lion? Oh, just regular lions. I'm guessing we should let them have the deer? Like, perhaps we shouldn't mess with that? Let's go, Sam. Hmm. A legally blonde poster, too. I am legend. The way he looked at the sun made me think that, like, he doesn't want to be out, like, in the dark. <laughs> How astute of me, I know. What, a, what an astute observation. What's that stuff? Is that to cover up our, like, scent or something? So we won't be sniffed out by all these wild animals just roaming around? What could that be, though? Like, what liquid would do that? Maybe we're not covering our scent. Maybe we're marking our territory. Maybe that's pee or something. Is it pee that we were just squirting on the fucking stairs right there? I don't know. I don't know. Great, I'll tell you. Are we watching a recording? That has to be a recording on in the background. <laughs> Here you go, just the way you like it. Aww. Disgusting. <laughs> we feed the dog a well, though. Excuse me, excuse me. So cute. There you go. Maybe sound just isn't really an issue in this world if we just have the TV blaring. Mm -mm. Eat your vegetables. Don't just push them around. Eat, eat them. I'm not playing. <laughs> you gonna eat your vegetables. You'll sit down here all night. <laughs> well, I feel like we talk to the dog as if they're like, you know, like a person. I mean, I guess I do the same with my cat. Oh. What are you whining about? Why don't you just eat your vegetables? You're gonna eat twice as many vegetables tomorrow night. Our pets really are our kids, you know. So we still have running water and like food. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet deal, all things considered. Man's getting flashbacks or something. He is out of it. Is he like the only man left on Earth or something? Is that a kid's room? Does that mean he had a kid at some point if there's a kid's room? Or is he just in a random house? I'm like hopeful and optimistic that it is the latter and not the former. That's what I'm gonna go with. Maybe during the apocalypse you can just like, you know, have your pick up a litter. You can just <laughs> pick whatever house you, you want. What are those sounds? I think we're getting a little flashback. Daddy, oh no. Why? He had a family. Oh no. Oh no. Something's gonna happen to that to that woman. And and to that child. Something's gonna happen to them. Daddy Joel and Sarah vibes. Hush now, Mark. Mommy, look, it's a butterfly. Hardly enough. So it is with great sadness. Is that dog Sam? Is, oh, it's a puppy! No! That's Sam! Something awful is gonna happen to this family. I'm almost looking forward to seeing it happen. Round zero. This is my site. We talked about this. I'm not gonna let this happen. This isn't up to you. You can't. <gasps> oh my god, another jump scare. 
flashback over. Okay, so I think it's this is I think this is a zombie apocalypse movie. I think I'm pretty I'm pretty certain on that. So much to admire about Will Smith's acting performances. Just so much such a talented man. Oh, he's working out the doggo too. Sam's getting his exercise in. I love that there's two treadmills. All right, so it seems like the zombies only come out at night, which is nah, come on, you know better than that. convenient for us. Oh, it's a basement. I thought he was using the restroom. He just wants some privacy from the dog. Dr. Robert Neville, September 5th, 2012, GA series serum, 391, animal trials, streaming video. Are we still trying to work on this? Are we still trying to find like a cure for this when there's no one left? Yeah, how are those animal trials going? <laughs> GA series results appear typical. Hold on a second. Compound six appears to be showing decreased aggression response. Hang in there, number six. That's a scientist right there. Still trying to do their job, even when there's like probably no one left to benefit from it. <laughs> I love that he is a dog. Actually, no, suddenly I have a fear that the dog's gonna die at some point. Is the dog gonna die? Is the dog safe in this movie? Or is this gonna be one of those cases of no? I can't judge him for listening to the same thing over and over again. Cause I, I do the same. I'll, I'll put a song on repeat. <laughs> Just listen to it over and over again if it's good enough. Hey! Morning Marge! Morning Fred! You guys are going here so early. Oh, my man's is lonely lonely. Oh. You guys inside? I think this is a coping mechanism. Trying to retain a sense of normalcy, you know, throughout it all. I'd probably do the same fucking thing. Can't judge. Won't judge. If you're about to flirt with the mannequin, don't. Is he checking out the mannequin? Girl. Hey, who's the girl? Never mind. Hey, I'll see you in the morning. What am I supposed to say? Hello. I'm gonna see some infected rats. Okay, tomorrow. I'm gonna say hello tomorrow. Maybe this goes beyond coping mechanism and it, it, it like, is a little in the delusional territory here. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> wondering. Wondering, wondering. This isn't his house, right? Yeah, I don't think this is a familiar house. I think he's just looting. Dogs can come out at dusk. My name is Robert Neville. I'm a survivor living in New York City. I will be at the South Street Seaport every day when the sun is highest in the sky. If anyone is out there, I can provide food. I can provide shelter. I can provide security. Generosity. Please, you are not alone. It looks lonely, but during the daytime at least, it also looks kind of peaceful. This is an introvert's dream right here. Although I'm sure I would start losing it and start talking to mannequins at some point. I'm getting good. <laughs> Why do we want to catch a deer so bad? I was just about to say, it can't be that hard to shoot one. It's probably hard to shoot one, isn't it? <laughs> if anything happens to Sam, I'm riding and turning the movie off. I have a bad feeling though. I'm getting a bad, bad feeling. Where is the dog? Really? Like where? I'm like chewing my lip. I'm getting nervous. So they don't just come out in the dark, they just, well, I guess they're in dark spaces too, that makes sense, because they have to like come from somewhere when it's night outside, right? Are we, what are we doing when we're doing that, when we're covering it up and uncovering it? Are we like trying to lure whatever's there? Or trying to lure the zombie out? Oh no, is that fresh blood? Do not tell me that's fresh blood! If it's fresh blood, we ride at dawn. That looks really red. That looks fresh. Oh no, 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 please. Not the dog. Oh, please. No. Is that a snout? Is that a snout that I see right there? That better not be a fucking snout. Oh, it's a, okay. I think that's a deer. Okay. Okay, I thought it was Sam for a moment. We're in the clear so far. So far. So far, so good. Is that a vault? 
Wait, are we in a bank or something? No, thank you. Mm. Are we gonna get out of this? Oh, not the creaking. Oh, we're screwed. We're screwed, aren't we? Chewing, crunching. I love that something. <gasps> Oh, they burn in the sun. Did it? Did we get bit? Did we get bit on our neck? All right, well, that was a that was a narrow escape. What are we doing? He seems very skilled in survival. I can tell you right now, I would not last a single day. Oh, here it is with the, the bottle of piss again. You gotta pay attention, okay? I want you to stay here on this one because you can still get infected. And I can't. Is he like immune immune? Like he can't get infected at all even if they do bite him or something? If I'm not back by dark, just go. He's a good dog, Dad. I love the way he talks to Sam. He protects him and loves him. Oh, it's a lure. Maybe the smell of blood or something will attract them? I don't know. It's retreating into the shadows. They really don't like sunlight. So I think we are trying to capture one to do ex like human part of our trials, clinical trials, right? Yes, it would appear so. Is it restricted enough? Okay, subject is female. A lot of push only sedates effectively a six times human dose. Remember how they are talking about cancer earlier? Almost fully dilated. In the very beginning of the movie? Is that why none of the zombies have hair? Because it has to be related to cancer? Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. Only if it was chemo. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch and find out. GA series serum 391 compound, compound six. six. The one that worked on the rat. Tribes. What a pretty violet color for a vaccine. I wonder how long it would take to work. Oh, it's lowering, like immediately. Respiration slowing. We may have something here. <gasps> we may. All right, so it killed this one, but would it kill another human or another zombie human? What did he just, did he just reverse it or something? What did that do? One compound six, ineffective on humans. What if it just takes time to work? No, hear me out. What if it takes time? What? No, no, no. Okay. What if he comes back to this test subject at some point and like she's gonna be like alive? Yeah, like like alive, alive, not like zombie alive, like human alive. Maybe it just takes like ten days or something for the vaccine to work. I don't know. Day one thousand and one. Blood tests confirm that I remain immune to both the airborne and contact strains. Why and only I him? Immune to airborne strain only. Only oh. Can't go running into the dark, dummy. Should get him a leash. I'm still unable to transfer my immunity to infected hosts. Crippen virus is elegant. <laughs> He's like respect, respect to the <laughs> the difficulty, the advancedness of the virus. <laughs> Social de-evolution appears complete. Typical human behavior is now entirely absent. I refuse to believe he's the only one in the entire world that's immune completely. Why are we stopping? Please call us, folks, we hope. Baby, give me the gun. Are they gonna make it? It's a huge crowd right there. Oh, what if his family isn't clear? She looks a little infected. No good. Get your hands out of my way. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm ordering you 
the scanner again. All right, scanner again. It's clear. It's clear. Ooh, it. All that could have happened over a mistake. I think that woman who's sick just gave it to everyone who was in proximity to her. Oh, it's, I feel bad that I'm excited to see how this is all gonna go wrong. No. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That, they're separated. I think that's the last time he ever sees his family. Because he has Sam now. It's just him and Sam. Is something gonna happen to the helicopter? Is something gonna happen to the helicopter? Do they maybe maybe they just never make it? But wouldn't it be wouldn't it be unfortunate if some sort of freak accident where the helicopter just like explodes? Oh, they're like edging me with that fucking flashback. Just give it to me already. <laughs> I want to know. It's probably good that they're breaking up the tension though, right? It's my birthday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my name is Robert Neville. I'm a survivor living in New York City. Anyone is out there. Is the MacBook? Does the MacBook still work? If you're planning a party or something, just tell me now. Because, you know, I don't like surprises. And I swear I'll act surprised. Okay? What does he see? Oh, they're just walking around. Oh, no. Have they figured out that they can hide their flesh from the sun with clothing? Have they evolved? That's not very fortunate for me. I'm hoping it's a mannequin, but I'm scared that it's not. What the hell are you doing out here, Fred? What the hell are you? No! 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 What the hell are you doing out here, Fred? Who put Fred out here? Fred, if you're real, you gotta tell me. Right did we now. set this up for ourselves as entertainment, or did someone put Fred? Did someone put Fred there? Okay, okay, I'm not gonna cap. Okay, okay. So I was actually so confused because I didn't realize I was a mannequin at first. I thought they had like, I thought the fucking zombies had like learned how to like dress themselves and like just walk around. Um, yeah, we don't need to talk about it though. <laughs> Maybe he's just bored and understimulated and that's why he just wants to fuck shit up. But if I were him, I would personally save the bullets, but if I was also him, I'd die within the first day, so like, uh... <laughs> Is this our own trap? Did we set this trap ourselves, or did someone set this trap for us? Because that was the same trap that we used on the zombie woman. Are we just stupid? Like, did we just walk into our own trap? Because we've, like, lost it mentally? And now it's dark! And we're still here! And Doggo isn't safe! And we're gonna get eaten by zombies! <laughs> did he just get reckless with his entertainment? Like, what is he- what is he thinking? I'm sorry, but that would be literally the worst thing in the world to wake up to. The alarm of impending doom, a hurt head, stuck, dog barking, I would cry. Now they're gonna have to, like, survive, like, a whole night in this situation, like, this is awful. They're gonna have to survive a whole night with the zombies. And they don't make very excellent company for nighttime activities. <laughs> Sam's so loyal, though. He stayed by our side the entire time. I'm sorry. What? Did he just stab himself? Did he just get impaled on his own knife? All right, so this just keeps getting better and better for us. Now we're gonna spend an entire night um, with the zombies um, outside with a leg injury where we can we we can't seem to walk. So this is gonna I'm sure this is gonna go great for us. I'm very optimistic about the situation. You know, I would just call it a day and die and <laughs> let the zombies feast on my flesh. I I would not be having this. Wait, I wouldn't want to leave Sam alone though. So true. So true. Our fur babies keep us going in the darkest of times. Have you guys ever had like that that thought or is it, is it just me? Like because you wouldn't want to leave this world prematurely or from unnatural means or anything because no one would be there to feed your cat for a while. It's what keeps you from doing anything risky sometimes, right? 
Uh, uh, come on. Damn, come on. Did he just release dogs on us? I'm sorry. So those dogs are infected by bites, and I think I think a zombie just released those dogs on us. I think they're getting like smart. I'm not gonna lie, besties. I'm stressing a little. I would consider myself a little stressed right now, for sure. Oh no, it's, it's no, the sunlight went away. Oh no, no, no. Are they gonna? No. Sam isn't immune to bites. Did he just get bitten right there? Is he okay? No, I think he got bitten. No. Because if you if you make me watch this dog die, like, no, don't make me, don't make me watch it, please. The kid can die, the mom can die, but do not kill the dog. <laughs> Fucking bastard, you wouldn't make me watch that, right? Samantha. Samantha? Samantha, look at me, girl. Hey, you okay? Am I stupid? I thought you was a boyo. Just gotta get you home. I thought you was a boyo, doggo. Sam short for Samantha? I hope Compound 6 works on dogs in addition to rats. Uh, that, that's what I'm that's what I'm hoping for here because if not I'll ruin my makeup because I'll be crying you bet this better work no you better fucking make this work Will Smith you better find a way maybe it just doesn't work on humans but maybe it'll work on dogs you don't know okay that's our baby that's the only person we have left <sighs> no do do not kill the dog you the dog better come out of this one alive gonna be all right no no tears no tears the dog isn't dead yet i can't cry the dog isn't dead yet okay i have no reason to cry okay it's not working is it I hate it here. It's <laughs> fucking awful. <laughs> I mean, I guess we sort of saw it coming. <laughs> like, it's so mean. Like, it's just so fucking rude. Hasn't he been through enough and then you kill his dog too? Who fucking wrote this film? I have some strong words for them. I have strongly worded words for them. It's like living for that dynamic. Man and his doggo and no one else. Is that scar behind his ear part of the movie? Or is it, um, just Will's scar? I promise my friend I will say hello to you today. Hello. <laughs> hello. Please say hello to me. I think he's reached. Please say hello to me. A point of loneliness. <laughs> that he cannot cope with anymore. What's he doing out at night? Oh, maybe he, maybe he doesn't want to live anymore. Okay, work. Work. Like, what is he doing out at night, willingly, if it's not to die? Oh, waste on Thinna. Look at them. They looking real snatched this evening.
road rage is a hell of a thing. You know, I haven't seen many Will Smith movies at all, but I'm really impressed by his acting abilities. I think he's very convincing when upset. Oh, they, they climb now. That was a little bit of teamwork right there, and I don't know if I approve of that. Oh, I think that's a leader. I think they have, like, hierarchies now. That was a battle cry right there. What do you have against me, huh? What do you have fucking against me? What have I done? Oh my god. Oh no. Do you reckon they swim? Do you reckon the little zombie men swim? Am I getting good jump scared? You look really calm. What's happening? Am I dead? Am I seeing the light? These, are those flares? Are we imagining this? Now hold on. Is that our wife? I can't say I, I spent a lot of time looking at her features, so I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'm not getting a good look at this person. I don't know. I hear I'm hearing an accent. I don't think this is our wife. But I was feel I was fooled. I was bamboozled for a moment. They don't know where I live. Don't let them track us. They can track us? Damn. The skills of these zombies, I swear to God. Oh, we're back. We're back. We're back at the scene of the crime, perhaps? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? See you. I'm hoping they just leave. I hope I hope they just don't die in front of us. Perhaps that was too much to wish for, actually. I do believe they're gonna get missile down. Of you know, you know, like they're gonna they're gonna blow up. That helicopter's gonna fucking blow up, isn't it? I hope he doesn't have to see them die in front of him. Like, that would fucking suck. No. No. Are you shitting me? <laughs> oh, he gets to see them die in front of him. That's great. I love this movie, Shrek. <laughs> it's a good movie. We got, we done got stitched up. Look at that. We're being taken care of. And we're on a really clean couch with no sheets. I guess you wouldn't care about that sort of thing in the apocalypse. But look how grungy and dirty and bloody we are. Oh wait, is this our house? Is that a Van Gogh in the background? Starry Night? Is that real? Or is that like a little fake? Wait! Why did I think that was our child at first? I don't know. I'm afraid the eggs are powdered. You know that. They're yours. Oh wait, so but this is his house? Bacon. She just made herself right at home. As she should though. She saved our lives. She deserves this. I might get cold. She seems very gentle. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. How have you two survived? Wait, they have to be immune too. But they don't seem quite as like rugged as like we are. So I'm kind of confused how they've made it out of here. Like how have they lasted this long? <laughs> we heard your message on the radio. We're going to Vermont, to the survivor's colony. It's a safe zone. Is it real though? Oh, survivor's colony, nothing happened the way it was supposed Sounds to Sounds way too good to be nothing true. Oh, there's a hope. Everybody is dead. Look at all that wasted food. Just... It makes me think of I was saving it. <laughs> what was he saving it for? Was he saving it for something for his kid? Or maybe he was saving it for Sam. Not the kid just having a knife with him. A smart kid. Maybe they are tough enough to survive this this far, this far along. Not the bathtub. Everything reminds me of Sam, god damn it. I am authorized to place you both under arrest. I love it when we see actual movies within movies. I don't know why, but it just it gives me a lot of joy. Especially movies that I recognize. Are you talking to me? She's like, he's crazy. He's psycho. He's lost it. <laughs> he's probably seen this movie a few times. Oh, with his kid, probably, huh? Oh. Was, was this kid's name Marley? Marley probably loved 
This movie, huh? I like Shrek. Kids and I have one thing in common and one thing in common only. It's like we like to watch the same things on repeat over and over and over and over again. You're not so good with people anymore, are you? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where have you been? I was on a Red Cross evacuation ship. Five of us were in the, the Dark Seekers Club. Oh, that's what you call them. Every movie gotta have their own original name for them, huh? Sure. So if you I'm not it, leaving. This is ground zero. This is my site. He's still trying to fix it. I'm not gonna let this happen. Girly pop. Um. I can still fix this. It's already happened. I don't, I don't think you can fix this anymore, buddy. Oh. Scared me. Sorry. <laughs> I called down twice. Oh. Oh, thank you. I'm surprised he's okay with having someone in his workspace. It's uh, heavily sedated. Don't worry, he's safe. I've never seen one so still. How much drugs does he have? On, how many drugs does he ha have on hand to uh, constantly keep this zombie like sedated? Because it requires more than the human dosage. Like, how much does he have in his stores to make this possible? All his case studies. <laughs> they look like titans. Mumbling, mumbling. Where can Ethan sleep? Is this her kid or just a kid that she's kind of like adopted and picked up on the way? Because if she was on a red, red cross shield boat, like, how would her kid be with her? Answer me that. He's heavy. He looks so at home carrying the kid right there. She's beautiful. What's her name? I'm not gonna lie. Her name was Marley. I, I'm so fucking stupid, bro. I thought I thought he had a son. I didn't realize it was a daughter. I thought Sam was a boy too. What is with me assuming everyone's gender like this? Like, how can I call myself like an ally? This is this is shameful. What am I doing? Um, in my defense, though, like I think I think the movie has made it very neutral. You know, like with names like Sam and Marley, and like the clothing. See, okay, this is actually. I can tell he's a good parent. You know how? Because like, I am of the personal belief that gender neutrality when raising a child is very, very important so that they can decide how they want to express their gender when they grow up, if they want to be more feminine or masculine presenting, whatever, whatever. I can already tell some of you are like typing out your little angry comments at me, but um, I think it's an individual's choice how they want to present themselves to the world. And I think parents sometimes or oftentimes impose what they think is best onto their children when I think it's really great to let the kids decide and it just really seems like you know with a name like Marley and with the way that um, the kid was presenting with the clothes that they were wearing and everything I think it was meant to be a little more neutral or or alternatively I completely missed every single cue that signified that Marley was indeed a little girl and that's okay for the purpose of the story I'm not sure how important it is but I just think it's so interesting that I fucked it up twice. Like, I don't know why I was just assuming everyone is a boy. I don't know. What was I thinking? Yeah, we named her after Bob Marley. Oh, no way. He believed that you could cure racism and hate by injecting music and love into people's lives. Did he really believe that? One day he was scheduled to perform at a peace rally. A gunman came to his house and shot him down. Is that real? Two days later, he walked out on that stage and sang. Is that real? He said, the people who are trying to make this world worse are not taking a day off. Why should I? How can or, I? Yeah. Light up the darkness. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. I had no idea. Is that a real story? I kind of want to look it up right now. Oh my God. That's real! I had no idea! That's so cool! Well, not, not that he got shot, but it's it's cool that he survived and he like still performed. Like, that's, that's fucking insane! Oh my god, wait, that's so moving. That's so touching. I might have to start listening to some Bob Marley now. Come with us, Neville. The colony. There's no colony, Anna. I know, okay? How does she know? How do you know? Yeah, Anna? yeah. <laughs> just know that's a really vague and uninspiring and not informative response i said how do you know how could you know god told me god, god told, told you me. yes the god yes 
I know how this sounds. It sounds crazy. You were trying to kill yourself last night, right? Anna. And no comment. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Anna. She must have sent me don't here for stop. a reason. Is this movie actually like religious propaganda? The world is quieter now. If you listen, you can hear God's plan. Yeah. Was this all disguise? Like, were the zombies disguising religious propaganda for me? I mean, at least it's interesting. I'll take religious propaganda if it's this this entertaining. Let me tell you about your God's plan. 5.4 billion people dead, crashed, and bled out dead. Not the crashed. Ooh. Every single person that you or I has ever known is dead. I think she is aware of that, but dead. There is no God. There is no God. I'm sorry. Was it still dark when you brought us home last night? There was light in the horizon. Turn the light off. They've tracked Turn him. They probably tracked him, huh? They followed us home. Did she not listen? Because I'm pretty sure Will Smith, in his deliriousness, did tell her, don't go to my house immediately, because they will track us. Ah! Oh. It's his traps. He's planned for this a little bit. Toasty fried zombies for lunch. Anna. 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 Did something happen to Anna? Anna! I think something happened to Anna. I'm concerned. Anna! Oh no. What are we looking at right now? What are we- <laughs> Jesus Christ. Catch a break? My aim in Apex be like, <laughs> hip fire be like. It's just not. not wanting to die, is it? Anna didn't come. To help during that entire thing, which leads me to believe personally um, that she's dead. Okay, no, she's alive. Wait, this is so wonderful. I see the most monotone voice possible. Sorry. I think they communicate with each other via the screens. Is it the test subject? Is it the zombie female test subject? Is she cured? <gasps> she looks like she's curing. It's working. It's working. Stop! Stop! <laughs> not the, not the stop. <laughs> stop! 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 I can help you. You are sick, and I can help. You. I don't think that's gonna work, bestie. <laughs> It looks like a butterfly. Oh. Does she have a butterfly tattoo? Is this a message from God? Yeah. What is God trying to tell me? What are you doing? The cure is in her blood. I think this is why you're here. No, are we gonna die at the end of this? What are you doing? I'm listening. God is mad stupid for this if he dies at the end of this movie. Are we gonna die at the end of this? Don't do this to me. Haven't I? Haven't I endured enough? Haven't I been through enough? He's finally gonna get to see them again, though. Looks like they're gonna make it to Vermont, though. 
Looks beautiful that time of year. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really care too much about these people, though. <laughs> I barely know these people. In 2009, a deadly virus burned through our civilization. There's a doggo! We are his legacy. This is his legend. Light of the darkness. Well, well, Mark Protosevich and Akiva Goldsman and Francis Lawrence and John William and Joyce H. Corrington and Richard Matheson. I have bones to pick with all y'all because that was that was emotionally hurty. That <laughs> did not feel good. First the dog, and then the main character. Like, that's a little mean. I think that's a little rude. Also, Francis Lawrence, that sounds really familiar. Did he do Catching Fire, Hunger Games? Because I feel like totally had to have. It just, I feel like that's a very familiar name. All right, you guys, that was I Am Legend um, with Will Smith from 2007. <laughs> um, I think I, I do have a few concluding thoughts before um, we call it a day. I think just, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's the word? Um, not borderline, like straight up. I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was solid and it was entertaining and it kept, it was engaging. Like I, I I was interested and intrigued throughout the entire thing, kept wanting to know more. Um, I think it kind of fell flat towards the end, but I'm not really too unhappy about it. I just, I wanted to do something different today. I felt the need to switch something up. I just, I, I wanted to sit down and watch a movie and be entertained and distracted for an hour and a half, two hours, and that's exactly what was accomplished today. So I consider me a happy camper, honestly. Um, it was really cool to finally like sit down and see like a Will Smith movie, like as an adult, I guess. I think the last thing I saw him in was... Okay, so this, it was a sad movie. I remember being a sad movie. Um, it was, he had these like little briefcases and he'd like walk around and like sell like machines that were in those briefcases or something like that. And I believe he lost one at one point. He's like, oh my God, that's like the equivalent of losing like two months rent. Oh my goodness, that is bad. And um, I think he had a kid in it and he was trying to be a good parent. And it was just like not a very happy film, if I remember correctly. And for some reason, um, I did see it in theaters with my parents. I, God knows why they took a child to that movie. I did not find it enjoyable as a child and like thinking back on it, I don't think I would find it enjoyable as an adult. <laughs> and I think the other film that I saw Will Smith in had also had a son in it. And I remember being, I think it was like futuristic, not like apocalyptic necessarily, but I remember being futuristic. And I think it was also like a very lonely film, like I Am Legend. Like I think they were like the only ones like in the film basically, um, which is really good for the film's budget if you think about it. They just did not have to pay a whole lot of actor salaries for some of these, huh? Um, but I remember being impressed by like his son's performance in that movie. And I saw that in theaters with my dad. But yeah, that, I feel like those are the only like Will Smith things I've seen. So it was really cool to sit down and like watch one of his movies today. I don't know if this was his best one um, or his worst one, genuinely do not know, but this movie was recommended to me, so I thought I'd sit down and watch it, and um, I'm really glad I did. I, like, I, I know that this probably isn't gonna like get seen by anybody, like the video's probably not gonna do well or, or anything, but I'm still really excited to edit it and get it out to you guys, and I really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I like enjoy just <laughs> watching it and commentating it, and uh, please let me know if you have any other like movie recommendations. I, I think I need a break from what I've been doing, and I'd really like to do um, these more often. I have a few on my list, but I'd love to hear your guys' recommendations and your thoughts on, on this video and on like future videos. I'd love your feedback. I had a good time with this one, y'all. I hope you did too, and until the next episode of whatever we're doing, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys! I've been